Hey, it's been a while. I haven't seen so much snow falling from the skies for a long, long time. It's Thursday night, future me, and this is when you finish school um, at 7.20, 7.30 p.m. And it's your second class of the day. So you have one in the morning and one in the evening. Thank goodness for good friends that you know that your kids are safe and in places where you know where they are. Um, um, it's dark now, so you can just enjoy the voice. Um, I'm slowly learning how to drive in snow conditions on the highway and it's not easy. It's terrifying sometimes, but the more you do it, the more you see how it works and I'm far from perfect, like I'm still learning. Um, there is a lot of snowfall in Utah. Um, classes are amazing. I uh, haven't started observations yet, but classes are amazing and connecting with people, finding, learning about techniques and teaching, learning about classroom management um, and different behaviors. This is, I think it's becoming my favorite class with the classroom management and learning about different behaviors and things that start popping up in my head about um, situations and students I've had to deal with in Japan in the classroom. That is like, I just realized I've had experience, but I did not have the knowledge behind it put in words and um, the theories and the, um, the different strategies you can use. That's just amazing to me. Um, and it just makes me all that more excited to be able to be out there and help kids to feel accepted and not to fit in, but to feel themselves and be safe in a place where everybody's accepted, it's like healthy community, um, building a like a classroom of healthy community. Um, and I think that's the genuine goal of every teacher, um, no matter how hard it is, and no matter how many times you wanna give up, you just don't. And I think um, because I'm also a mom, I can see how this is working in, as a parent as well. And today when we learn about reinforcement in positive or negative way and punishments and what are the results, yeah, I can see that whatever the teacher says, like, yeah, I've lived it, I've, I've done it, and it's, oh boy, snow is falling from my car. Um, but it's very interesting. And I also learned to, sho to shovel um, snow fast and like push into places and um, cover the car, the car's front um, windshield so it doesn't get frozen wipers in the morning and you start the car a few minutes before you actually drive it so it can melt it. I, I'm learning those things and um, salt is your best friend in the winter. You just salt the place. Um, learned that learning patience in a different in a very different levels um, because of recent events with like um, family situation not with my kids but with my family back home and um, learning that the Lord really really shows grace and mercy um, towards people and he's not he doesn't he's not a person who um, defines you as better than the others or like you're lower than the others it's just amazing to me how Heavenly Father and the Lord work um, and the temple reminds me that every week I can go I, I, I'm reminded of I'm reminded of the fact that I can't make it on my own with my own human abilities in this world and that's the, the generation of my parents in communism in Bulgaria were taught to just rely on their own self and their abilities and talents and establish themselves and just rely on themselves. But then you, 
you soon realize that you can't do really much on your own and if there's no heavenly intervention whether you see it or not recognize it or not it's always there and it's always there to help and it's up to us if we want to um, accept it or not but it's a given and it's a gift um, what else what else the, the babies had a birthday in January last month and they turned four they're the happiest sweetest little people I know um, everybody in our world loves them and cherishes spending time with them and offers to help as much as they can with caring about them um, they're a delight um, there is never a dull moment with them and uh, if you ask one of the twins who is your best friend they will say the name of the other because they spend lots of time together and they just love each other and even though they, they fight sometimes for toys and get upset with each other they find ways to connect again and it's really amazing to me like I will never know that what is to have a relationship with a twin it's really amazing especially if it's both two, two genders a different gender like boy and a girl it's really amazing to me I think I'm gonna go ahead and put those glasses I have that were recommended to me to just wear I got those in Japan long 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 time ago and I use them for night driving just in case um, yeah they're really small when I think about it but it's okay it does the job um, it's, it's busy on the roads I have to get to the highway it's been hard yesterday and today driving on the highway especially if it's snowing or raining or raining really heavy wet snow it's been really difficult but it's not impossible and I respect the people on the roads in, in those kind of weather conditions um, they are very careful and people don't speed much they they give they give you away if they if you have to change lanes it's just there is this respect and like uns, unspoken rules that um, people I see people do and I, I do the same um, yeah like two days ago it was springtime and then yesterday started and the day before started raining really hard rain the entire afternoon and night and then the next morning it turned into snow and then it was rain again and it was snow again and then it was rain again and then it was snow for a while and so everything was covered in snow but now I don't see any snow sticking sticking anywhere it's just it's gone because it's rain now so the temperatures are not below zero Celsius I guess um, I'm trying to uh, get used to the Fahrenheit as well and oh, what we did yesterday was we registered um, second son for junior high um, in the fall um, this is the railroad crossing so the red lights um, yeah, the train is passing. Um, so, so we asked his older brother, oldest brother, about suggestions because he knows all the teachers in junior high and all the subjects and the grading system, like who, who grades really harshly and who grades well. And so, you know, like when, when you have an insider, it's it's actually easier and faster and nicer. And it, it's good to have an older sibling in the school. I totally. I totally admire my oldest because he's like the he he makes the path for his brothers after him so so they so they feel comfortable and familiar with the stuff or they get familiar faster because they have um, a brother or two already there so it, that's really nice um, the teachers are great um, my teachers are great their teachers are great um, yeah and. I always have like in mind things that I want to share with you future me but I kind of forget um, when I actually start doing the video I forget but it's okay it's okay um, yeah um, my oldest is in young men like he he's not in the deacons quorum anymore he's in teachers quorum and he is the secretary of the quorum president 
um, and they're planning like lots of um, young men camping activities so he's like I don't have a camping gear but it's okay we'll assemble what we can and um, clothing and um, he, yeah because we, when we were living in Japan we had a tent and we had sleeping bags and we had things for camping that we don't have now here with us obviously but we can um, see what we can do about it um, camping is a good skill you know I um, haven't done it for centuries but I know it's fun I know it's fun and especially if we're the right people in the right place and create good memories that's what it's all, it's all about and appreciate nature and stay away from screens for for a little bit so that's good too um, other than that so great okay I'm gonna go because I need to go to the highway now